Hello everybody and welcome to Romancel's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this reading is for the 4th of September 2020 and the reading is dedicated to the lovely sign of Cancer. That being said, this is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody. So please do take whatever resonates with you, whatever feels good with you. The rest of it, leave it aside. You don't need it. If um, if ever you would like to have a personal reading, so you're in search of guidance, you're in search of answers, I can help you. Please do contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com and I can give you all the different type of readings that I can um, that I can assist you with if you do want some answers. On that note, if you do enjoy my channel and you have not yet subscribed, please do take a brief moment click the subscribe button to show your uh, support to the channel and to myself. It is always very appreciated. Um, after this reading, please do stand by. There is a daily snapshot that is going to be coming out at the same time and there is um, your weekly that I already put out I think perhaps this morning so if it's not this morning it was yesterday so please do uh, validate also if you have not yet seen your weekly reading it is already out onto my page so um, with no further ado let's begin this reading what we want to know here is did they cheat they told you they didn't Let's go see if it's true. You're wondering, did they, did they not? We don't know. Let's go check it out. Um, I'm using here Alice in Wonderland Tarot, and I'm also using the Lenormand. So let's flip these cards over and see what we've got. I have the Nine of Wands, followed by the Five of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Eight of Wands. I have Swans. I have Bridges. I have a Cross. I have Magnifying Glass. All right, I'm going to do the same thing like I did with everybody else. I'm going to tell you the answer right away, but please do stick around to listen to the story. <laughs> okay, so um, I do have to say that without a doubt there was cheating going on into this relationship here. Um, I feel as though in this relationship, um, well, okay, two different things here I feel, okay? Now, I feel as though for you, you were just... Uh, and the, you, you be a man or a woman, here it is depicted as being Alice, okay? Um, I feel as though you were just not getting the love that you expected. You were not getting that love that you deserved, that you wanted. We all, we all have different tastes. We all have different needs. We all have different wants. We, you know, we can't compare one to the other. But that being said, for you, this relationship was not satisfying enough. You were lacking in love. You did not get enough attention. Um, and so this is you really, you know, walking around into this beautiful, you know, garden of flowers and everything is all great and all perfect on the outside, on the exterior wor world, that in which you had no, um, no hand in you couldn't do anything about but in your personal world inside you were although you were filled with all this beauty you were um you were surrounded by beauty but you were filled with great sadness uh, because of the love that was just not returned into the same way that you would like it and because you were really wondering what is going on into this relationship here i have the partner partner may be a he or a she here it is depicted as being a little uh, grumpy man here now um, this person here is not happy at all. This person has already stuck into the ground eight wands. There is one wand remaining. They have to stick it in the ground. They don't want to, but they have no choice. Um, this is really about having enough about a situation, about having to continue it. I feel as though they continued into this relationship for a little while. I feel as though if you still are into the relationship, they are very unhappy and they are not going to be staying much longer. Um, if you are not together, well, you know, this is it. This is why they had enough. They had enough of the fights. They had enough of the non-trust. They had enough of pretty much everything. Uh, this is really being at your ends, but not having a choice but to continue for a certain amount of time. So this is really what is going on with this card here. And this is depicted as 
guys be in the partner. I do have to truly say that I do believe the more that I see, the more that I get these messages that um, that this relationship is just no longer there. You're no longer with this person. Um, you were uh, taken away, well taken away. You had no choice but to leave. You uh, left um, and you did not want to leave. You wanted to stay. Um, this is really about the Five of Pentacles. It's, it's leaving a situation in which you would like to stay. You still want to be, you still want to have what is behind those doors, what is behind those doors with the Five Pentacles. Um, but this has become um, not possible for you. It's become an impossibility. This is really about leaving, um, leaving a situation that we do not want to leave, but not having a choice because every single thing has come to a stop, just like that. At some point, you received and maybe the uh, you received information by somebody and. Um, you know, or maybe just the partner decided they never they never told you that they cheated or anything and you know uh, Maybe they are planning on leaving or maybe they already left, but they never told you the reason why they were leaving um, But that being said all plans here are on stop So if you're still with them or not Everything is completely stopped. There are no future plans for going to parties or reunions or you know moving in together or nothing is going on right now this is just a moment of stagnation where every single thing is on pause why because down here we have a broken relationship we have a broken this is all about um it's all about deception it's about breaking links, breaking um, contracts that we said that we would uh, that we would not break, such as we were going to be in a relationship and we were not going to be seeing anybody else. There you go. That is a breach of contract. That being said, I do have over here the um, the cross. The cross is all about endings. Endings, of course, with endings. What comes with endings? With endings come beginnings. This card here is really about the ending of the relationship altogether. I do have the bridge card and I have the magnifying glass. I have not told you about the magnifying glass was really a card for you to look. To look maybe two times, three times, four times if necessary, but really do look because you need to look at the very fine print. Something is was or is going on that you just do not know about. If you're still into this relationship, they're still seeing this person. If you're not into the relationship, well, then we're going to forget about this card, okay, for the moment. This was really about looking. It's really about looking at the situation because something is happening. I do have to tell you, be very, very careful, okay? This is a card of great deception, of great lies, a lot of hidden secrets. So please do look, but look very carefully because it is not, you know, uh, written across a huge banner. It's going to be very subtle. They did this in a very smart way. Um, and so I have the bridges, the bridges that are connecting. They connect or they disconnect, right? Are they strong or are they not? Are the pillars, the foundation, nice and strong? Are they going to connect two people to or two places? In this case, I have to say no. You're just not meeting into the same place. You're not meeting onto that same bridge. The bridge is very unsolid. It is losing little bricks. It is losing pieces of its pillar. It is not going very well. So that being said, this does um, conclude this reading. Unfortunately, yes, there, um, yes for the cheating. Um, once again, this is a general reading, so it might not resonate with you. If you do have any questions or you would like to have your own personal reading, please do contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com. Um, also, please don't forget to subscribe. Stay tuned for the following readings and have a great day. Thank you so very much for being there and I'll see you soon.